Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper. Today we're doing a one day build and fill. We got a little bored, so we did do some prep work, which is a bunch of split wood over there. But the idea is this. We're gonna take one day, and actually I'm not telling anyone, but I'm guessing from the time we start to the time we're finished, four or five hours. I bet you that's tops. Tops. But we'll see what actually happens. I'm optimistic, so I could be wrong. But right here in the center of these trees, I'm going to put down some bricks, put down some pallets, put down some boards, throw up some fence picket walls, and then put a, uh, yeah, some metal on top for a roof. And we're going to have an open side facing to the south that'll be blocked from the west and from the north. And we're just going to build a quick woodshed, and then we're going to fill it. Because recently, we installed this wood stove in our house. I've got some of my little peppers here. I also have my dad, Grandpa Pepper, here. And John from Ridgeview Homestead, Homestead should be showing up shortly. Um, we'll see. I'm just gonna try to get a couple more things ready so when he pulls in, we're good to go. So I just started cutting a minute ago. We got 11, 11 on my phone. I'll say we had 11 o'clock start time. Um, little peppers are hard at work. My dad's still back over there by the truck and trailer, chopping logs and cutting them. And um, I just cleared out some of this stuff to have room to do it. And then soon John should be here if he uh, follows my directions right, or if I gave him right, we'll see. That's why I got my phone on me right now, just to make sure he gets here fine. Well, we just got some brain reinforcement, so I'm gonna go over my plan with him, see what he thinks. John from Ridgeview Homestead.
All right, here's how far we made it so far. I did a little bit. Mostly John helps. <laughs> but what we wanted is an about level thing. Use those pallets there and some of my inch oak. Use some bricks there for the bottom layer. And then decided to run some cut four by fours for added support up the middle. Um, a number of these bricks we were filling with gravel just to prevent mice from living in them. And now I'm trying to decide whether I want the walls first or the rest of the floor. Um, and I'm not sure yet. But I think we might try to get a wall, well, I'll probably all three walls in place and then maybe run the floor and uh, see how it goes. But the floor is going to run perpendicular to the ones we just put on. So, because the wood's going to be stacked this way. So I want some runners running this way with just some small gaps between them. It's pretty uh, sturdy so far and that's kind of needed because we've got a lot of weight of wood to put on. So we'll see where we go from here. So this pretty much concludes the first part of it. We've got almost two rows, almost five feet high, pretty good. But what we're gonna do is uh, get another trailer load there and then Grandpa Pepper's been going crazy. Check this out. Look at what he did next to my trailer. Seriously, this whole pile of wood's gone. That thing's loaded from yesterday. And he just split and stacked all of this. So we'll see how far that gets us. But wow, that is crazy. What a ton of work.
So here the last of it is loaded up. Now we're gonna see how much this gets us and then I'm just gonna finish the roof. I think we're gonna make it, child. What do you think? Yeah. Well guys, here was, here's where we wound up. I'm not getting on the roofing tonight because my folks are leaving in the morning and I want to spend some time and eat dinner with them. But the roof section is under progress. We've definitely got three walls on this thing. The plan is to have the front open, which we did. And uh, we put in all of the wood that we made. Is there room for more? Yes, technically there is room for more. So we may do that some other time. But we're close. We didn't may do a one day build and fill, but we did build something and filled it part way. Special <laughs> thanks to John from Midgeview Homestead coming out, spending some of his time, some of his talent, some of his skill, helping throw this thing together, making sure my ideas were good enough to put into practice. Yeah. <laughs> and keep an eye on me to keep me safe. Nobody wants a broken leg around here, right? No broken legs. It was it was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me out. Absolutely. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for watching. <laughs>